What if the reason you can't sleep, the reason you get addicted to things so easily, or the reason you feel pain more intensely than anyone else isn't a flaw in you, but a feature installed by ancient history? Every single one of us is a walking museum, and tucked away inside your genome, often less than 2%, is the enduring legacy of a long extinct relative, the Neanderthal. They were tough, they survived ice ages, they were, frankly, amazing at adapting. And when our ancestors, Homo sapiens, mingled with them roughly 50,000 years ago, we inherited a bizarre little grab bag of genetic traits. Some were lifesavers, others, well, they're just annoying quirks in the digital age. If you've ever wondered why your body does strange things no one else seems to understand, this video is your codebook. We're diving into the eight strangest ways your Neanderthal DNA is still controlling your modern life. By the end, you'll finally understand why you are the way you are and which ancient superpower or annoying handicap you're carrying. Don't go anywhere because number three is something almost everyone struggles with today and it might just change the way you see your own mental health. Number eight, the useless armor chronic chicken skin. We're kicking off with something utterly common and utterly weird, keratosis pilaris, or what most of us call chicken skin. Those small, rough bumps that tend to cluster on the backs of your arms, your thighs, or your cheeks. They aren't harmful, but they absolutely refuse to disappear, no matter how much lotion you use. You're trying to look smooth for the summer, and your skin is busy prepping for the next global deep freeze. The science is simple. Your body produces too much keratin, a protective protein, which then clogs your hair follicles. But why? This trait is directly traceable to your Neanderthal ancestors. They lived primarily in colder climates, and this thicker, coarser skin was essentially a form of biological armor. It was designed to provide extra insulation, slow heat loss, and offer better protection against the rough, freezing environment of the Ice Age. Think about it. In a world where keeping warm meant life or death, having this thickened epidermal layer was a genuine survival advantage. Now, you're just trying to wear a tank top in July. Your modern dermatologists call it a cosmetic issue. Your ancient DNA calls it mandatory survival gear. It's your body's way of saying, hey, just in case the heating goes out forever, I've got you covered. If you have this trait, embrace it. You're not dirty, you're just genetically ready for the apocalypse. Remember that the next time you're exfoliating. Number seven, the tribal lookout, why you're a night owl. Do you consistently feel most awake and creative when everyone else is already two hours into REM sleep? Are you a night shifter by choice, feeling the energy surge around 11 p.m.? Guess what? You are not undisciplined. You are just genetically programmed to protect the tribe. This trait is tied to specific gene variants that mess with your circadian rhythm, shifting your internal clock later. While the rest of the group slept through the night, a Neanderthal with this variant was the perfect lookout. They could tend the fire, watch for predators, like the aforementioned saber-toothed tiger, and ensure the safety of the sleeping cave. This rotational pattern of sleep meant the entire tribe was rarely completely vulnerable. It was a massive survival advantage that benefited everyone. Today, your corporate job probably demands you be a morning lark, forcing you to fight your 15,000-year-old programming every time the alarm goes off. If you're like Sarah, a software developer who crushes complex coding problems between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., your brain isn't optimized for morning meetings. It's optimized for nocturnal vigilance. The bad news? Society isn't built for night owls. The good news? You might just be the most dependable person in an emergency. You're an evolutionarily vital member of the team, just in the wrong time zone. If you're starting to recognize yourself in these traits, hit that like button. Let us know in the comments if you're a proud night owl fighting the 9 to 5 grind. Your interactions tell YouTube that this history lesson is worth sharing. Number 6. The Overtuned Alarm System Heightens Sensitivity to Pain This is a trait that truly splits the room. 
When you stub your toe, do you dramatically limp for two minutes, convinced you've broken at least three bones? Or when you get a minor cut, does it feel disproportionately painful? Some people can shake off a mild sprain. You, however, feel everything. Research shows that a specific Neanderthal gene variant affects the operation of specialized sodium channels in your nerve endings. Essentially, this gene makes your neurons fire signals of pain much more easily and intensely. For us modern humans, this just sounds like an annoying handicap. Why would evolution select for constant suffering? In the harsh, unforgiving world of the Paleolithic era, heightened sensitivity to pain was a critical survival mechanism. It meant immediate, mandatory withdrawal from danger. If you felt a slight tremor in your ankle, your ancient brain yelled run, preventing a serious fall or incapacitating injury. If a small infection hurts badly, you would be motivated to clean it immediately, preventing deadly sepsis. Your body was yelling when everyone else's was merely whispering, and that yelling kept you alive. Today, this means chronic pain conditions or just a frustrating overreaction to minor injuries. Your body is perpetually on high alert, bracing for a world that no longer requires you to hunt mammoths or fight off predators daily. Understand this, you're not weak, you're just incredibly, historically well-tuned. Number 5. The Hijacked Reward System – Risk of Nicotine and Other Addictions Now let's talk about the brain's reward system, specifically why some people can casually enjoy a habit while others get utterly hooked. We're talking about addiction risk, and surprisingly, the roots of this vulnerability lie deep within your Neanderthal lineage. This risk is strongly linked to the CHRNA5 gene cluster, which regulates nicotine receptors and the release of dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter. For the Neanderthals, having a high-drive, reward-seeking system was crucial. It meant that when they succeeded in finding food, shelter, or fire, the resulting massive dopamine hit motivated them to immediately repeat that behavior. This drive for instant gratification and reliable rewards meant they were more persistent hunters and survivors. But in the modern world, this highly efficient reward system gets hijacked. Nicotine, highly processed sugar, and even the endless, unpredictable scroll of social media feeds all trigger that ancient do-it-again impulse. Your brain is chasing the dopamine reward that once came from catching a mammoth, but now it's coming from the notification alert on your phone. If you struggle with breaking bad habits, remember that you are fighting an evolutionary imperative. It's not just a lack of willpower, it's ancient programming trying to keep you alive and productive by seeking out quick, reliable reinforcement. Understanding this genetic predisposition is the first, most critical step in taking control. Your modern brain needs to teach your ancient system what a real reward looks like. Number 4. Internal Tundra – Reduced Ability to Sweat Have you ever noticed that you barely break a sweat, even during a high-intensity workout, while your friend looks like they just jumped in a pool? If you have fewer eccrine sweat glands, that's another gift from your Ice Age ancestors. In a warm climate, sweating is life. It's your body's primary mechanism for cooling down. But Neanderthals lived in exceptionally cold, often damp environments. Sweating heavily in sub-zero temperatures is a guaranteed path to hypothermia. If you're wet and the air is cold, your body temperature plummets. Therefore, those with gene variants leading to reduced sweating had a huge advantage. They conserved body heat better and survived the cold more effectively. Fast forward to 2024. We live in cities, we work out indoors, and we face blistering heat waves. Your body's internal thermostat is still set to glacial tundra, and its inability to shed heat efficiently puts you at a higher risk of overheating or heat stroke. This trait is a perfect example of a genetic feature that went from a massive survival advantage to a modern health risk. If you notice your low sweat, your modern survival kit must include constant hydration, light clothing, and respecting the heat. Your ancient body needs help navigating the modern summer. Number 3. The Pre-Wired Worrier – Depression and Mood Disorders 
This is perhaps the most profound and empathetic connection to our Neanderthal past. Studies show that certain genetic markers linked to higher risks of clinical depression, anxiety, and mood disorders were inherited directly from them. In simplified terms, these genes influence how your brain processes serotonin, the mood stabilizer, and cortisol, the stress hormone. Why would ancient selection favor a genetic tendency toward worry or low mood? This trait wasn't about being sad, it was about hypervigilance. A slight predisposition toward pessimism or high alertness meant the Neanderthal was constantly scanning the horizon for danger. They were the ones who saw the storm coming, who recognized the subtle change in the tracks, and who worried about the food supply. In a high-risk world, a cautious, high-alert individual was more likely to survive and prevent disaster for the group than an overly optimistic, laid-back one. It was a mechanism of psychological armor against a constantly threatening environment. But today, when the constant threat is an impending deadline or a negative news cycle, that same survival mechanism manifests as chronic anxiety, rumination, and depression. Your brain is wired for war, and it's exhausting to maintain that alert status when there's no tangible threat. This trait doesn't seal your fate. Genetics loads the gun, but environment pulls the trigger. Understanding that your anxiety might be a misplaced, ancient defense system can be incredibly empowering. It means you are not broken, you simply need modern tools, therapy, mindfulness, exercise to update that ancient software for 21st century living. If this resonates with you, know that you're carrying the legacy of a species that refused to be caught unprepared. We are now heading into the final two crucial traits. Are you starting to realize how much of your daily behavior is shaped by your ancient past? Stick around for our final traits and make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss our deep dive next week into the science of fear. Number 2. The Overzealous Security Guard – Autoimmune Tendencies why do some people suffer from severe allergies, chronic inflammation, or conditions like celiac disease or lupus, while others seem immune to everything? The answer often lies in an immune system that is simply too aggressive, a system we largely inherited from Neanderthals. When Homo sapiens arrived in Europe and Asia, they encountered a host of local pathogens, viruses, bacteria, and parasites that their bodies had never seen. The Neanderthals, having lived there for hundreds of thousands of years, had evolved sophisticated, aggressive immune defenses against these specific invaders. When we interbred, we acquired those defensive genes. It was a genetic download of a local defense system, immediately boosting our chances of survival in the new land. The downside? An immune system that is too sensitive can become overzealous. In our relatively clean, industrialized world, this supercharged defense system often turns against things that aren't threats, like pollen, peanuts, or even the body's own tissues. It's like having a nuclear-armed security guard defending a suburban library. It's powerful, but prone to friendly fire. If you deal with chronic allergies or an autoimmune condition, remember this. Your immune system is a powerful testament to evolutionary adaptation. It's too good at its job now, but it saved your ancestors' lives many times over. Number 1. The Quick Fix – Increased Risk of Blood Clotting Our final trait is a truly dramatic example of life or death engineering, a genetic tendency toward faster, more robust blood clotting. Imagine a world without hospitals, antibiotics, or bandages. A fall, a cut from a tool, or even childbirth could mean bleeding out within minutes. The faster your body can seal a wound, the higher your chances of survival. Neanderthals carry gene variants that accelerate the blood coagulation process, creating strong, stable clots almost instantly. This was absolutely critical for their survival in a dangerous environment where trauma was a daily risk. In the modern world, this highly efficient clotting mechanism is still useful if you have a bad accident. However, it's a liability when combined with our sedentary modern lifestyles. Sitting for extended periods, hello desk job, long flights, and certain modern medications can increase the risk of deep vein thrombosis, DVT, blood clots, or even stroke.
your blood is still prepping for a saber-tooth tiger ambush, and it doesn't quite understand that sitting still in a chair for eight hours is the new danger. If you have this trait, it's a profound reminder that what saved your ancient ancestor can be a silent risk for you today. Simple preventative measures, like standing up and moving every hour, are your modern-day defense against your ancient survival mechanism. Embrace your inner Neanderthal. So, there you have it. Eight incredible, sometimes annoying, ways your ancient past is still deeply intertwined with your modern reality. We are not finished products of evolution. We are walking, breathing histories, a beautiful and complex blend of survival mechanisms designed for an ice age now navigating the digital age. You are carrying genetic code that helped a tough species survive in the most brutal conditions on Earth. Next time you're wrestling with a bad habit, suffering from an inexplicable anxiety, or cursing your chicken skin, try to cut yourself some slack. It's not a flaw, it's an echo. It's your inner caveman trying its best to keep you alive in a world it was never built for. Understanding these traits is the first step toward managing them. Which of these eight traits resonated most powerfully with you? Were you surprised to learn that your addiction risk or your sensitivity to pain is actually a hereditary superpower gone rogue? Let us know in the comments below. We read every single one, and your stories fuel our research. If you found this journey into your genetic past insightful, please hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. We're constantly unraveling the science behind the most fascinating human quirks, and you won't want to miss what we decode next. Thanks for watching, stay curious, and embrace your inner Neanderthal.